hello and welcome to another video lab view today I am going to show you how can you create a counter uh, pulse counter in a lab view which you can use your uh, applications depending on your requirement uh, let's say you want to count how many times the input uh, be high or either you are taking the input from the any controller like a PLC or DAC you can count the uh, input pulses okay for this uh, in very fast way I will just create a one while loop here okay inside the while loop uh, just let it be it is something downloading okay and and inside the while loop I will create one case structure on the front panel I want to take one buttons okay this is actually your input which you want to actually count the its input pulses that how many times this input be high okay this is let's say make little bold and also I want one numeric indicator where the data will be showed that how many counter value is currently system has count okay you can also make it count count values okay it will be size you can adjust according to your requirement doesn't matter you can also make it size little bit large okay, it's already you can do justify in a center you can do style as a bold okay now this is the count value now this is actually your input so what I'm going to do I will create here one uh, event structure after this so that I can make a logic there okay so let me create just right click on this one uh, and create add event case on the basis of this input I want to create one event structure event case after this uh, default case okay now this is added input value on the basis of this I will just make it as a view as an icon and here I will take one numeric incremental I will take one select case and I have to create one shift register on the basis of this that the shift register actually hold the last value and then it will add the increment the one whenever the condition becomes true okay for this let's say if I say that if this is the true increment in such a way that by using this shift register add previous value with the current value of with the values of 1 every time 1 and in the default case let's say the input is not high uh, not trigger then the show on the indicator a default uh, previous value and where is my indicator this is my indicator let me find this is here okay I take it out sorry and I click as a numeric indicator Just click it here okay and let it be the constant give some time delay in order to save some memory of your computer or PC uh, here I give just let's say 500 millisecond one more thing is that I want my system I want my indicator values to be shown default whenever I start my VI so for that I have to create one local variable uh, put it outside the while loop and set its default value to 0 okay and also this state I want always to be set as a false okay now uh, now almost I have done uh, now let's check it okay uh, just run it default value showing is a 0 when I click it it's count 1 uh, but when I press this button it latches okay but I want is to count the pulse uh, from 0 to 1 uh, or you can say false to true 
for this I will have to uh, sorry I will have to set this mechanical action of this my uh, button to something else switch until release I think this one let me check it here again mm, mechanical action yeah switch until release this is the okay uh, now if I run it you see the default value my system is working little slow okay uh, now when I run it my input boolean becomes false because I have set its local variable here as a false and also the count value 0 now when I click this one you see count it 1 count 2 discounting the pulse count 3 and uh, now how to check either it is counting the rising edge or falling edge you just press and hold you know I just press and hold when means that when it become from 0 to 1 it counts 1 when I release it does not change means that it is counting the rising pulse again check it is 4 if I press and hold it counts 5 from 0 to 1 when I release it does not pick it, it does not uh, count the values okay so this is actually counting the rising pulse later you can uh, modify this logic in your program to adjust the requirement of your applications and uh, uh, as I told earlier that this input can be uh, from any controller it can be from the uh, PLC from the DAG or you even though you can use uh, to count the pulse simulator you can generate any uh, sequence of pulses here in the lab view and then count the pulses um, definitely it will keep counting because the pulse generator will keep uh, generating the pulse and it will be keep counting so you can uh, adjust your coding accordingly that if you want let's say to count the number of pulse for uh, a starting of 10 second or 20 second then how many count uh, how many count in the 20 second how many count in the 30 second or how many count in the 60 second the system generated you can count it but here it is default because this application is just to show you how can you create a counter in the lab view okay i hope you like the video if you like please don't forget to like and subscribe this video thank you for watching till next video take very good care yourself take care and allah hafiz